The County Board of Supervisors may declare a local state of emergency over sewage contamination in the water of our South Bay beaches. This is in an effort to get the attention of the federal government. It's our top story on the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. CBS 8's Kelly Hestall joins us live from the Silver Strand. It just reopened after yet another recent shutdown. That's the good news. Bad news, beaches south of there, Kelly, they're still closed, right? That is right. Yeah, it is now safe to get into the water here at the Silver Strand shoreline, and people are excited about that. If you take a look behind, you can see there are plenty of people out here right now enjoying the afternoon. Uh, but for people who live in the South Bay, there's still a lot of frustration. They haven't been able to swim in the water at their beaches for more than 500 days. You know, I think a lot of people are losing hope actually because they've been talking about fixing it and everybody gets excited and there's money allocated by the government and they're going to get fixed and then it doesn't happen so people uh, have lost a lot of hope and the morale is down in Pro Beach. And that was Milton Boyle. Uh, we spoke to him here at Silver Strand today. He lives three blocks from Imperial Beach but can't go into the water uh, because it's contaminated with sewage. The county says the bacteria levels are still too high for anyone to safely go in and swim or surf. Uh, he says you can't even walk near the ocean because the smell is so bad. So he drives to Coronado and Ocean Beach regularly, which he says is tough. And he's not alone. CBS 8 talked to other people who live in the South Bay as well as business owners who say something needs to be done. So tomorrow, the County Board of Supervisors will discuss declaring a local state of emergency. Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer and Chair Nora Vargas will introduce this policy. It's aimed at really getting the federal government on board to address this issue now. The situation has just gotten so much worse because of what's also happening now it's not just one source of pollution which has been for a long time which was the tijuana river valley now we also have the second source of pollution which is the sewage coming just straight up the coast from the broken sewage treatment plant down at punta bandera so it's double the source of the problem and Tara Lawson, a Reamer, a supervisor that is, uh, says that the federal government needs to declare a state of emergency just like they do for wildfires or other uh, natural disasters. Uh, she says that they need to declare one for cross-border pollution. She says if they did, it would open up all sorts of resources that are needed. Now, the County Board of Supervisors are scheduled to meet tomorrow at 9 a.m. Heather and Carlo. And the big question, of course, other than when could this get fixed is, how much is it going to cost? How much money does Supervisor Lawson Reamer think is needed to truly address this crisis? Yeah, so we already talked about the 400 million that uh, the United States and Mexico ha has promised to set aside for this. Uh, she says one study cited that at least 650 million was going to be needed just to address the issues uh, that are causing the pollution that's happening right now. So it wouldn't even prevent future pollution or address any sort of long-term solution. So 650 million just for a Band-Aid. Who knows how much it could cost uh, for the long term? So you can kind of understand why people in the South Bay may be losing hope, uh, just not being sure if any amount of money is really going to fix this. Yeah, it's just a problem that's been going on for decades and decades. And as you mentioned, Kelly, no real end in sight at this point. Kelly Hesedal reporting live from the Silver Strand. Kelly, thanks.